And Toshome, uh, what is your take on those uh, global crises in the in the in the in the recent decade? If you take uh, the relationship between China uh, and uh, Africa, uh, for instance, the Chinese. Uh, uh, government and the Chinese people have chosen their own governance model, their own development model. It worked for them, and uh, China now has become one of the major uh, global powers, economically, technologically, militarily. But uh, one thing that created a conducive uh, space for us to work with China is China, China has never imposed uh, any of its will, any of uh, its policies uh, on Africa. I think that is how we should uh, go about. Uh, otherwise, imposition and then uh, putting pressure on countries to choose uh, the values uh, of uh, other societies has created and complicated the problem for uh, uh, global uh, governance coming together. Now, in terms of the way uh, forward, again, I still believe that uh, we need to put the multilateral system uh, into effectiveness. Uh, we need to strengthen the system. We all need to work together so that uh, the process should be inclusive. Uh, we had just uh, the AU summit uh, here in Addis Ababa, and uh, one call that all leaders have made that uh, Africa should have uh, a place at UN Permanent Security Council uh, because a continent with 54, uh, 55, 54 member states, a continent with 1.3 uh, billion people, and a continent whose agenda has always been tabled. Most of the th table at UN Security Council does not have representatives. How can we really work together as humanity so that we can all participate, we can all contribute? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Chinese wisdom, again, uh, is extremely important. The last four years, uh, what uh, I observed when I was Ethiopia's ambassador to China is that China is willing to share whatever it has, whether it is a development model, uh, whether it is technology transfer, whether it is uh, other uh, Chinese experience on the wheel of the receiving countries, on the wheel of the continent of uh, Africa, where we work as uh, uh, partners. This is very critical, and I think we have to have an open line of dialogue. We have differences. There is no question about that. And we are not envisaging a world without difference. But how do we manage our differences? Through respect to one another, through dialogue, through communication. Avoid and stop imposition or of your own wish on uh, others. I think those are very fundamental principles that uh, we can uh, live uh, as humanity. And uh, then certainly we have uh, a future to share, uh, not only for us, but for our uh, uh, children, for our, the coming generation. And we have a responsibility to work together. 